Okay, traders. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's um, Sunday, 28th of June, and um, I'll be looking at the market and review with um, everyone. Um, the silly voice of Jimmy Effect. Uh, it's more risky not to take risk at all. Forex trading is um, a risky business and one that involves red risk. And um, to trade it, you need to um, read the disclaimer right on our page. Okay, and um, that would assist you. All right. Um, what do we have here? Um, we we'll start with the AUD USD and um. For the AUD USD, what do we have with the AUD USD? Um, okay, so let's look at um, a longer time, all right? So we can then identify where we are, and then um, I'll start with the multi time analysis in all my page today, and um, we'll then see what we have. Um, with the AUD USD, we have um, certain levels, okay? Um, if you want to look at in the market, um, we had this A. A, B, C, okay, and um, we're here, and um, we had it that the market then um, did um, this distribution here, and then um, we're actually selling, okay, so this was a little weak structure, so we could um, just assume that this could be um, maybe small A, B, C, okay, so we could assume that um, we had this um, Pretty much stuck to here. So let's just um, get the wave out first for now. Or would we rather restrict it to the weekly loan? Okay. So what we had here was um, we supposed to have had this um, wave here. Okay. I want to look at long term or at longer term. Okay. Because I am seeing a possibility of um, AED USD dropping back to the 0 0.49. All right. Probably in the future. Which, uh, we do not know, but if. Um, there could be some sort of live back, all right, for the ADAB. Um, uh, we could see um, that thing, but um, for us to have an ABC, all right, to the upside, and we could expect a longer term. I spoke about the ADUSD before now, and um, using the ICE, all right, that um, we had the five wave structure to the downside, all right, that was far back um, 1974, and that ended at um, 2001 and we had this corrective pattern. So if this corrective pattern is complete, we'll be looking at the longer term at least um, to test the B, which we had this rejection of. Okay, we never really had a rejection of the B, but what we had, we had is that the pay did fly through the B, all right? We had it that um, the monthly structure fly through the B, all right? Which um, was actually um, not what we wanted to see, but it flies through the B. So which means definitely we might expect um, we might expect some further push down, all right? We might expect some further push down because the wheel five is always the direction. So we might expect another push down. I don't know uh, if that would be the case. Um, ADUSD might just be going into, um, wow, I don't know. But, um, well, I don't know. But um, what I have already on my chat is what I'm going to work with. Okay, I'm going to work with that. Okay. okay. Okay, so let's just quickly go back to our FSM. Okay, so we have the longer direction. So um, we could have had um, this projection to be uh, maybe a small, small um, ABC, all right, which could have been our our longer leg. So we want to see maybe um, a WXY here, all right? We then we had this. Um, sort of correction, yeah. If you get this, yeah. so we could have had this correction, all right. And um, maybe let's see how that was. Okay, didn't, didn't actually touch the 50 percent, but came close, rejected. Okay, so we had um, this corrective pattern here. Yeah. So now, if this is corrective pattern we have here, so this would then be. Um, how long A grab B and to expect a longer C, maybe to test in here. So, um, that's what I think of the longer term. Okay, so this is the ABC, but let's just use a paper properly and then see where we are. 
and the Fibonacci seem low to seem high. We've detected this 161.8, but um, one, we did the 1.8, uh, 1 so um, we, well, that might also be something to be considered. I think we did the 161.8. Um, we fight to the 127. Okay, so um, on the longer term, if you want to see some um, bearishness, okay, you want to see some drop, but um, that will be dependent on um, if one, okay, there was a structure here, which was a support and the resistance, so we had a structure here, a structure here, all right, so um, we will just see how price would then play inside of the structure because what we are trying to see this detection, but um, the month has not yet ended, all right, so. Um, the market is going to open for this week um, inside the very current month. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, we're going to be looking for um, the weekly time frame. What we have, we have one level here. So let's just quickly mark um, those weekly levels and then see predictions for those weekly levels and where we want to possibly start seeing rejection because at the moment we have started seeing rejection. Okay, so we just started seeing rejection and um, we want to really identify where those rejections will definitely end. So we have um, those areas, okay, which we want to start growing. Okay, so let's just make this weekly template. Okay, so we have started seeing um, some structures on the weekly, all right, which um, we would see um, rejections of. So we had it at this level was rejected, okay, one was rejected, was rejected up here, okay, and initially we had this rejection, all right, on last week, and the week, and um, we have this rejection too, and then that same price um, down, okay, but um, but um, we didn't price this price down, so I think um, some bulls may still be present in the market, okay, we might still have some bulls in the market, um, but for this candle to form this way, I would expect the next um, weekly candle to form in and try to fill in this week. And um, what also we have here, the candle then rejected and um, the next candle continue filling the week until we can the second this structure. So I would expect this week to see the AUD USD try to make um, some push to the upside. Okay, but when and how? Um, at the moment, um, last week we had price opening down here and then filled in with this big structure here and that was what really prompted um that um setup okay so what we want to be doing first we want to be waiting on the um lower time frame to see what we have um here we have um 10 level of structure here this we have a clear level of structure here this is from the daily so we just, just um the whole of this zone is actually daily so we have this daily structure here Okay, we have the little bit of the mark the daily structure there. We have the daily structure here inside of here, and um, we would expect that price would um, react inside of that structure. Okay, so we had other daily structure which we saw price then zoomed in and have started rejecting this structure here to move up, but then price then fell back. So um, I don't know. Um, at the moment, I'm seeing price going parabolic. Okay, this is some sort of parabolic structure here starting to form. Um, I don't know whether we have been com comfortable with this um, or understanding this parabolic structure here and or eight curves. Okay, I, I will try to do a video on eight curves. Um, I'll try to do a video on eight curves, okay, um, of some sort. Okay, eight curves. So you can have eight curves in the market and the market will just try to move up, all right, then come down to find some bit of liquidity and then before the next future upside. So this looks like definitely an S call. So we'll just see how it turned out. Could be an S call, maybe to here. It could just be an S call, you don't know. It's an S call. And um, price may just be back into testing the zone. So we'll just um, look at how the pay would play uh, inside of this structure here. But we have um, the H4 structure here, All right, We have the H4 with, um, structure here. We also have it one here. So we need to see how price reacts inside of one, two, three areas. Let's just zoom into the area so you can clearly identify the area also. 
we have um, functions inside of the um, 6831. Okay, we had this markup also with this markup here and um, pricing with parabola. So we need to see how price then act inside of the area because this is an area which we want to see starting reaction because the market is still making push to the downside and it's not being slowing down. So we want to see some um, reaction inside of this area here. So if we can have that, we we'll then look to go long in the week. So depending on what we have at the start of the week, we do not know, we cannot just start positioning the market. We then look to target one this high and also target the high. But overall, from the Monday time frame, I think um, the, if the month should end, probably um, pretty soon, you might expect, um, um, right, you might just see um, some big um, push up. Okay, you might just see some little bit um, push up. Okay, back to which is I and said this um goes okay in the new month, so we do not know. So we might just expect that. So the next thing we're gonna be looking at will be the ADE um UAG Um what are what is my long term prediction? My long term prediction for this pay is that I expect um expected a bounce of this zone. All right, I expected a bounce, but on my long term prediction is the UAG JPY. Um we clearly do not have um for the spice. And 25 made it high, all right. Made it low, so we could have correction, simple correction, and then before the double bottom and try them. So, um, so this was could have been a corrective pattern, but definitely to ABC. So, um, well, 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 we might expect, um, I expect, um, some okay, so we might expect some bit of push. From this point on, but at least we want to see price and come in a little bit. But um, we had several rejections. I don't know. Uh, we had several rejections of some key important areas. One, this area two was also key on the monthly. Okay, on the monthly, and um, we had rejection, rejection, and also rejection here. So I, I, I would say since price is still making lower lows and lower highs, we might see. Um, price then back into testing the 101 That's the public possibility. Um, but well, at the moment, um, we had the support here, monthly support, monthly support, and it's currently being rejected at the moment. Well, and uh, if the month will end, price will start here. Wow, I think um, we'll be in for a treat. We'll be in for a treat um, inside the year. So if we've actually been inside of this small range, all right? This small range, um, let's see probably length 300 pips, 325 pips range. Wow, to sell here, take profit here, buy here, take profit here. Wow, inside that small range, I don't know. Wow, so, what that? so um, that small range will be up here, down here. Okay, so what do we do? What do we do? Um, okay. Okay. Let's just see what we have here. Um, we had the high here. All right, and um, had a So, what uh, would you think? Um, probably if. Um, you did it, why could just make a move up here? So we're up here. We'll just look to sell. No, no, no. Um, we have rejection of this area, previous structure. Rejection. Rejection already. Rejection, price then rejected, and then moved up. Wow. I think um, we might be in for a trip on the um, UDJ2Y. I think we might be looking to buy. We're already up to here. So this is the weekly. We might just be in for a treat. Um, let's see for the weekly support. 
and there was rejection here, rejection here as well, rejection here massively. Uh, let's see. Okay. Um, also rejection here. Okay. So we might just um. Um, she probably will push down. Let's just see. Okay, well, let's check it here. We'll just look for some sort of rejection on the daily time frame inside of here. Inside of here. To have that, we'll just look to buy up. We'll look to buy up to 107,900. Yeah. Now will work. Now will work. Now will work. Just um, now we'll admit it. Let's look at the head for. Because we have. Wow. Wow. Well, uh, I think um, I think that really happened. So. Well, I do not know, but let's just see how price then fair in here. But this was a head for um, resistance. You could have some massive um, rejections up here. I think um, you might be forced to um, sell. I think, yeah, I'm just forced to sell in here a little bit. Rejections massively um, risky. I don't know. I don't think this would be such a good place to take. Even though at that point, I think it's such a good place to take. Well, what is the one? Well, okay. So we might look at um, put up any other here. If you can have some rejections up here, you can look to sell or back to here or also here. That should be a possibility. Well, I think that would be a credit trade. Here is the chair. Okay. Um, apart from being guided by um, at the midpoint, this channel here. Let me get this off. And um, okay, lots of lines. And let's see the monthly. They have the monthly. It is on the easy card. Okay, easy card. Um, paper structure. IK. 1.3700 new high. 1.405. So let's see what we have on projection. Longer term. Longer term, we might have unique card. Um. You know, there was this break out of this structure here. This structure here. So we might just have um, whatever we have in here could be investment, and um, we would look to, um, okay, so structure, 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 structure. Okay, so um, as that on longer term, one five one, one five one five hundred. Yeah. yeah. That could, be, that could happen. Um, this was four years um daily high. This was detected on double top. This was also the same scenario here. Okay, double top. That same price back. We made a three-way move. So, um, we could expect some um correction right back here. Maybe um accumulation of some sort for the JVC. Um, but um, this would be clearly what we have here. We had price piercing through this structure here. One, two, one, two. So it pierced through and also pierced through up, pierced through down. Okay. So I think it's one um, some sort of reaction here. So if this is a um, week we are in at the moment, and we have the monthly currently looking at the affecting the structure here, so that would not be our big concern. Um, what we we'll look to do would be we can have a push back into this structure here. Okay, this structure here, okay, this, um, this structure here could be um, vital. Okay, so these are the structures we're looking. So if it could be trading with some um, in this channel, we do not know at the moment, so we just had. Um, one, two bounds, three, three bounds. So if we can just have rejection up here, okay, a very cool rejection up here. We might look to still sell further down. 
I look to tear further down into this zone. I'll look to do that in the month of July. Yeah. Yeah, I'll look to do that. Yeah, month of July, I'll look to do that. So we just need to look at the rejection in here. Yeah, you can have rejection um, here, you look to tell down, right? Okay, and um, we already had the rejection up here, so um, we, um, actually we call it the time mark, and um, this area really works well for buying. Okay, but since it wasn't structured down here, we couldn't do that. Okay. I think if you're making pushes outside, probably here would be vital. So just look at here, this zone. Let's say this zone should be vital. Yeah, this zone should be, should, should be vital. Okay. Vital here, so it's going up. So if you can have rejection inside of this two zones, it would um, look to react. This two zones look to react. Yeah. Okay. Um, and the DUSD, longer term protection. Longer term protection, I think, should still be. Um, well, I think um, the end of the DUSD might still want to make a, um, some um, a similar situation with them. Um, yeah. Okay, might. Um, still be in to make one more push. Protection, so support, support, breakout, came back for reset, then send it down. So, also, this area could be also vital. The 6,400 could also be vital. Okay. Yeah, could also be vital in holding price. So, listen. Could also be vital, could also be because of this rejection here, but let's just see what we have here. Yeah, yeah, there was this rejection of this zone. So let's, uh, that could also be vital, but also this another high gain. So that could also um, let's see. Yeah, that could also be vital. So let's just see. Okay, so the monthly, I did the weekly. So this area could be vital. So it, could, it could actually be vital. It could actually be vital. You know, so at the moment, so we just um, it's more we cannot take risk. So it also be vital. But we had a rejection here, rejection, rejection. And um, look like the bulls got back into the market. So let's let just um, see what the bulls will just um, try to do. Okay, just try to be. Um, well, you don't know. Maybe that present in here. Just maybe that present in here. Oh, because there was this stuff here. So maybe that present in here. And we got back to the just waiting there to switch price for the off. So we'll just um, take advantage and then continue to buying the NZD USD this week. Um but into the six five two hundred. The six five two hundred of a different person. Yeah, we could just do that this week. So we could just do that. Already we have um claim rejection structure here. Yeah, we could just do that this week. Um let's see. Um, daily, this was structure. Yeah, we could just do that this week. We'll just do that this week, and um, buy back at least into here. We'll just do that this week. Um, we do not know, but that's also an option this week. Last week, um, I don't know, but I think um, what we think I am saying here is that um, um, this way could. Also go parabolic as well. We might see um, because of this candle here, we might see this way going parabolic. So there's something of sort. Okay. Okay. We could just see that. 
but just some parabolic structures there. Um, you just see that. You just see the S core. I don't know if I've done a video on S call. Can I do on YouTube? S call. You might just see some um, cool S call. Um, let's see how long. This is um, from this high. And seven bars. So we could be looking at 14 bars for the S call composition. So 14 bars. 14 bars. 14 bars, that should be 29th of June, around six at the close of the um, six o'clock candle. So 14 bars. We just draw the line here. So 14 bars. You might expect the end of the eighth cup to terminate here. At the 14 bars. 14 bars. So we'll do that. We just put a pending order here. It has the structure here. Uh, stop loss will be down here and we tend to buy up that. So at 14 bars, you might um, see some rejection of the 14 bars. Yeah. 14 bars. Yeah. That should be fine. Okay. Here we go. So we'll not be content the whole of Monday morning. That's New York. We'll just compare at the close. Okay. Okay. Um, here we will trap some sort. Um, there's no holy grail. We don't have a holy grail. We trap some sort, but we got out early. Also here we got out early too because we saw something happening here. We got out early too. Um, what I want to say is that um, um, if this is our wave two, okay, this is our wave three. So we can expect our wave four to be some sort of correction. So if we had um. How many bars? 25 bars to complete import. So we should have at least um, 85. All right, something close, complete correction. So we look at um, 80 bars to um, we look at 75 bars first. Seventy-five bars. So that's the end of the 75 bars. Okay, 75 bars. So let's look at some 75 bars to, um, um, we have 25 bars, so let's just add up to 100 bars. 100 bars. Okay. So we'll be looking at um, everything happening inside the 100 bars. We um between this zone, so we will, we will next be looking for a buy opportunities inside of these two areas here. Now these two areas will be where we're looking for our buy, okay? And um, that should be around um, 29 as well, so 10, right? We're looking for buy opportunities inside these two bars. In here, I think it's still risky to take a trade here now. Yeah, of course, it's too sudden. So um, could be um A B. ABC felt high, so could still drop AB felt high. So um, we just look at how this would check. We don't know, so we just have to look at how it acts. Here is um duty, Great Britain found. Um, Great Britain found you know, felt high. We had a breakout, came back by reset. I think um it should. So I'm going for um, um, this high. All right. So I'm going for that high. Yeah, I just think so. so I'm going for that high. Yeah, it's probably a longer time. So I don't know, but so I'm going for that high. So um, accumulation, accumulation, um, so this could be massive A, B, so I think, um, we might even see um, that. So let me see what the IC market is. Think about this. Yeah, we might just see a new high. We might just see a new high. 
um, um, I'm just saying you high because it's making a higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. So this is my expert to you higher. Um, yeah, the, yeah, we might at least um, to the top of probably. Yeah, we might just send you high. So we, we, we just send you high. We might just send you high. So everything should be doing good. Um, we just, so we might just send you high. Be up here. I think I might just send you high. So if you are going in for that structure here and just um we'll see what we have when we join in for that structure there, but um at the moment we cannot take a trade because we are very close to the structure here. It's nine one six one six seven. Let's look at that structure there. So there could be some sort of replacement way back into here. Some sort early in the week. We might be forced to take um, an action. So you might try to take that action if they give you some sort of investment back into this zone. I think so, yeah. You might just um, then target this zone. Yeah, if you could have that, we'll just take it. Okay. Yeah, we'll just see some further push. Okay. So we we'll just need to see that. Um, Okay. Um, due to USD. Well, I think um this space should um just die, you know. Just uh you know. um unless um unless something quickly. Um let's quickly see. Unless something's cooking and uh, we might still see some trends back on the GBT USD. See some trends back. Um, let's see what we have. We might see trends back. We do not know yet, but um, we might just see trends back at this structure. We just look at the six one eight. We might just see some trends back. Yeah. We have some massive trends back in this zone. So it's um, one area one should um, really take into consideration. Yeah, this one it could be um, vital. Yeah, it could be vital. Um, for this candle, I think you should try and fill in, completing, fill in this candle. This candle should try and fill. Try and fill this candle. Probably, and then you could have this injection up here, down here, okay. Yeah, it should try and fill this candle. Um, had a sell trade here. I think it's, it's a good trade. Just let it run. Let's see uh, what we have here. Okay. 